All right, I'm gonna do some simple dragging today on Fort Lousy Lake. See if I can catch a catfish or maybe not catch anything. And I'm gonna give it a try and just don't mind my voice, I've been sick. And I have to navigate around a bunch of bass boats in this big old cove. Springtime has sprung, so I'm hoping there's some in the shallows. All right, let's see if I can catch something. Uh-oh. That's my double hook rig. Ah, popped. That's good. I am worried about losing it here because there are snags. You see, there's another snag right there. That's pretty much a hump in an old house right there. that was a fish or what as you can see there's bait flipping everywhere around here this cove is absolutely loaded with bait but I haven't really got a bite yet unless that was a bite oh hello is that a fish Snag, it looks like a fish. All right, yep. Going right into my other line. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Oh, we got off too. Oh boy. Man. Maybe I didn't reel down hard enough. I don't know. Did take the bait. It had some good weight to it. I felt it. And that was on the double hook rig. Took the back bait. Oh, wow. I wonder if it was barely hooked and chomped down on the float. Look at that. That float was not broken when I put it out there. So I bet the catfish hit the float. Oh, that's funny. 
I'm going to try to get this one working again. There we go. Get another piece for that hook. Just a nice chunk piece of fresh skipjack. Just a snag. Now, I'd like to know what you guys think. Are these dirty south dragging weights? helping me keep from getting snagged up. Because usually when I go through this cove, I lose gear. There's plenty of places to snag up. And today, I have basically made it through the entire drag without getting caught up. They are definitely longer and heavier than what I was using. You have to think about it as being good enough to keep the double hook rig from getting snagged. This may actually be a fish. Oh yeah. Oh. This one has some weight to it. They are really wanting to get into my other rigs. I need to start turning here before I hit the bank. Maybe instead of going to the channel, maybe I will go back and just be a little bit further from where I originally drugged. This is a nice fish. Do I need my net? Yeah, probably want my net on this one. A little bit small for netting, but I'm going to play it a little safe here. Not bad, I mean it's not a small fish. Not a baby. This area is where I catch babies all the time. All the way down to like four inches. I'm here. Duh. Oh boy. That's the. Turn your head the other way. Ah. Head first. That was the, not the best netting skills there. This guy's loaded with shad. Told you this cove is loaded with bait. Look at the belly on him. He's been eating really, really good. He's got mud on him too. I guess they're laying on the bottom a little bit. But man, it's not too bad. 10, 15 pounds. I'm not going to weigh them. I'm just going to let them go. But yeah, it's a good fish. Fort Lousy has given me a nice catfish. Grow up. Now I got to work on getting myself turned a little bit and head back that way. I think that was on the head. I guess I'll put another head out.
I have to wait a little bit here so I don't cross my line. cargo planes. All right. Not skunk. That's one of the bad things about fishing this cove. There's a lot of boat traffic. They got the, the major boat ramp there and then a lot of uh, docks. I mean, there's a ton of docks in that like secondary cove. And a lot of people think that you gotta go all the way around here, which would be around my boat to get to this boat dock when you don't have to. You do have to be careful like over there it's about a foot of water right now and there might be some out there but there's plenty of room to get around me it's not the only thing I have to deal with on this lake too every now and then you get apartment buildings going down the river and they create like five foot waves now I will say this I might have to cut this short I need to take the boat to the dealership this week tomorrow Monday and in order to do so, I need to disassemble the boat. I need to get everything out of it, and I need to get this seat off. What I'm doing is I'm swapping out this bench seat for two jump seats, or whatever you call them. And then they're going to scan it for aqua traction in between here, and it's going to say, watch your step. That should get easier access to the back of the boat, because you can just walk straight through the center. You can walk around this outside bench. It should definitely open things up more on the boat. Now it does make at least more than one person uncomfortable. Is that a fish or snag? Ah, snag. Anyway, like I was saying, it will make more than one person uncomfortable. But, you know, it's a boat. It's not, you know, a leisure vessel. I could still take probably three to four people out. There'd be room to sit in the middle on the seat and two on the front. The front is definitely not the best place to sit on any boat because it will be a little bit rough. But the way the boat's designed, it shouldn't be dangerous as long as I'm not driving like a wombat. Now this drag here has been pretty uneventful and I don't see as many things jumping. The bait must be moving out of here or moving somewhere else. Or settling down, I don't know. But I'm gonna keep at it for a little bit longer and hopefully get another fish in the boat. I think I have a fish on, maybe. I was changing out my battery while turning and something hit this and now it's slack like it's swimming with the boat. Oh yeah. Cool. Right in front of the boat ramp, in front of all the bass fishermen. <laughs> and most likely this fish will be bigger than any bass that they've caught today. Not to brag, you know. <laughs> Catfish in general are usually bigger than bass. Oh yeah.
and there we go. Nice little blue. If this was a bass, it'd be a tournament winning bass. Awesome. I gotta keep my bait too. Keep that one by the boat while I try to turn. Bunch of waves heading this way. Hopefully, we're able to catch another catfish, maybe a bigger one, on this round. That was fun. I'm about to lose my double hook rig. Ah, it's pulling drag. Well, that's not good. I haven't had a bite or anything in quite a while now. I've been just dragging around this cove. I decided to stay in this cove. Whoa, my green planer board just came off completely. <laughs> I guess this is a sign that I probably should go ahead and call it. I really do need to get my boat apart, get it ready for the shop. I am going to see if I'm going to lose my double hook rig or not. Hopefully not my green planer board. Well, this is the Dirty South Dragon Weight. Now I will say I am not sponsored or anything by the Dirty South Dragon Weights. However, they do remind me of the Dragon Weights that Micah Burkhart uses. He's the current state record holder for blue catfish in Tennessee. And he makes something similar to this for himself. Now I don't mind buying rigs from somebody. That just saves me time. Plus, I don't have good access to lead. I hope I'm not wrapped around my motor. Uh, the wind has blown me around. on my trolling motor too. The wind has picked up, which is not helping with the situation here. I'm wrapped up around my outboard.
There we go. I've lost track of my green cleaner board. Ugh. There it is. Well, looks like this is my first double hook rig loss. Well, at least I was able to save my planer boards. I would definitely have to come back out here on a less windy day and try dragging the main channel. I definitely want to see if I can catch a bigger fish maybe in the channel. But it is possible to catch bigger fish out here, especially when they start coming into the shallows to feed. And it's quite possible they might be coming in here at nighttime to do so. Anyway, as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully my voice will get better soon so I can do some more informative videos where I talk about various things like maybe how much it costs to be a fishing guide. That's a video I've been wanting to do lately. However, I got sick and I lost my voice. Now I'm going to get back to the ramp before I get run over. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.